let me tell you about an omnivorous and mobile gasifier that I've often been asked about. A lot of people really wanted to have a mobile gasifier to travel between garbage heaps and turn all sorts of sawdust, chicken manure, household garbage with food scraps, or other small fuels like milled peat of different sizes and wet fuel into gas or electricity. Of course, stationary downdraft gasifiers cannot run on such fuel as wet mush of sawdust and household garbage. There must be at least wood chips. Fluidized bed gasifiers can run on fine fuels up to 10 mm in size, that is, they are limited by fuel size and moisture content. But there is one type of gasifier that can handle a variety of fuels, the rotary gasifier. It is something like a tilted barrel that spins on its axis. Look at it. It appeared thanks to the military. If I understood the material correctly, the military needed something like this for submarine bases at that time. Apparently, the submarines had diesel generators on board, and bio-wasted accumulated on the bases, so the military planned to turn it into gas. That's what I understood from the words of the gasifier's inventor. The military was interested, and the creators of the gasifier managed to engage several small colleges to build the device and get grants. The developers received funding in 2008 and recently in 2021. The gasifier was under development at SUNY Gobelskill campus, which is the patent holder. The military wanted to use the gasifier on outlying military bases. They calculated that it cost between $40 and $450 to transport a gallon of diesel to such bases. Even a 10% of delivery cost reduction would be very significant for them. And the gasifier inventors focused on household garbage that soldiers left on the base. The gasifier did not require any special mixture of fuels, in fact, it was omnivorous. It worked on leftovers, plastic, and rubber. The second advantage of this gasifier was its mobility. It fitted in a 40-foot container as well as on a cargo trailer. The inventors assembled it intuitively, without a developed blueprint package, by eye. But they managed to reduce the cost of fuel delivery by 80%, not 10%. Apparently, they were not going to remake the diesels at the military bases, but used the so-called dual systems, when diesel generators were fed 20% of diesel to ignite the mixture, and the remaining 80% was replaced by gas. That is, there was no diesel generator but only a gasifier on the trailer. Apparently, all outlying US military bases have standard 60 kW diesel generators. Russia also assembled such a 16 MW gasifier calling it adiabatic. As I understand, it was supposed to be used for the gasification of sour tars, oil sludges. I have read a lot of papers on such gasifiers, and it will not be difficult for me to design one. Get in touch with me, my WhatsApp is under the video. See you soon.